Hello there, I'm Sorvistion, and this is a taming guide for Kishar in the Tree Tail Rift. Does this image look familiar to you? Well, it should. Because it's the exact same image they use for Bonethorpe from Parnas Coast. I'm not sure if this is intentional or if it's just a bug, but I find it quite interesting, especially since we're going to need Bonethorpe in order to tame Kishar. Well, anyways, let's see what the Beast Jerry can tell us as far as finding the mark that we're going to need. Apparently, Lady Olivier is searching for a fallen Legion relic called the Immortal Curtain. That's the mark that we're going to need. However, it seems that the design has been lost. Yet three commanders may hold the key. Well, indeed they do. There are three Fallen Legion warlords spread out around the Tree Tail Rift, and they're the ones who drop the recipe that we're going to need. The first out of the three is Warlord Tyrannus. You can find him at around 500 meters guarding this destroyed light spring. He's not too far from the Eclipse Shrine. In fact, that is just up there. Now, he's an elite, but he's not too hard to kill, and he respawns about every three minutes. Unfortunately, though, the recipe has a very low drop rate. The second is Warlord Irvis. He can also be found guarding a destroyed light spring at an altitude of around 590 meters. He's also not too far from the Eclipse Shrine, which is just up there. And he seems to be pretty similar to Warlord Tyrannus, and seems to share all the same characteristics, including the low drop rate for the recipe. The last of the three is Grand Warlord Garactus. He can be found in the center of the Tree Tail Rift, right beside the Pillar of Energy, at an altitude of about 815 meters. Now, unlike the previous two Warlords, He's got a faster respawn time at about 2 minutes, but he's harder to kill and he's got an even lower drop rate for the recipe. So this is what our shopping list looks like. We need 3 Fallen Legion Marks, 1 Bone Thorpe, 70 Familiar Orbs, and 20 Elite Taming Potions. Now I'm not going to cover how to tame Bone Thorpe. I've already made a video on that, so if you want more details you can go check out that video. As for the Fallen Legion marks, this item drops randomly off of all the Fallen Legion in the Tertail Rift. Places you could farm it would be around the High Peak Camp, Riven Gate, around the Eclipse Shrine and around the Ethereal Flux, and also possibly in Blackhaven, although I haven't tried that. Blackhaven is full of Fallen Legion elites and they're not easy to kill, so I don't recommend it as a farming spot. There is one alternative method I would like to mention. There is a quest available from this mission board. It's called Zelnaris and Kishir, and it'll net you one Fallen Legion mark per day. You can find this mission board on this island here in the southern part of the Lost Roost. You'll come through here while you're progressing through the main quest line, and this area will function as a temporary quest hub. Once you've completed all the quests here, it'll unlock this mission board along with that quest. Alright, well, it looks like I pretty much got everything I need. I'm short some elite taming potions, though. So I'll just go ahead and buy those. I need 20 of them. Awesome. And where's our recipe? Here it is. Alright. Well, time to craft this mark. Come on, Triumphant Craft. Come on, Triumphant Craft. Ah. Oh well. Alternatively, if you don't mind spending some real money, you can always come to the Victory Plaza in Hakane's Crossing and talk with Barlow, the Bindercoin Merchant. He will sell you an Immortal Curtain for three Bindercoins. So I'm hovering over the Lost Roost right now. You can find Kishar flying between the altitudes of 600 and 700 meters in this area I'm circling with my mouse. There are lots of them, so you shouldn't have any trouble finding one to tame. And we'll, we'll just go up and tame this one right here. Notice that it's not tameable. And that's because in order to tame these, we need to bring it down to 50% health. 
which I'm gonna do right now with my super skillful well not so skillful usage of the crossbow alright now that we've met all the taming conditions I'm gonna get into a taming position It keeps moving around. Uh, let's try this. Oh, nailed it. Hold my breath deep. Pray for all green. Oh, it's going pretty well so far. Awesome. And we have tamed Kishar. So let's take a quick look at its skills. It gets Resonance, Resistance, and Soul Aura, which increases magic attack. And if I were to seal it up, it would provide a magic critical damage and physical defense. And that is how you tame Kishar. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click like and to subscribe to my channel for more taming guides for Riders of Icarus. Until next time, take care and have fun.